Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are having one very interesting question from radical equations. The given equation is x is equal to square root 7x minus 1 over x minus 3 times x minus 4. And we are going to calculate real solutions only. So let's get started by writing our denominator cannot be 0. So I can write x cannot be 3 and 4. Now I will consider squaring both sides. So power 2 and power 2. Now square root and square will be cancelled out. So it is x square equal to 7x minus 1 divided by x minus 3 times x minus 4. Now x is not equal to 3 and 4. So we can cross multiply. So x squared times x minus 3 times x minus 4. This will be equal to 7x minus 1. Let's multiply x square. If I will multiply these two brackets, then x square minus 4x minus 3x minus 7x plus 12 equal to 7x minus 1. Or I can write x power 4 minus 7x cube plus 12x square equal to 7x minus 1. Or we can write x power 4 minus 7x cube plus 12x square minus 7x plus 1 equal to 0. This is one quartic equation. So I will use fundamental of reciprocal equations. For this, I have to make sure that x cannot be 0 for our equation. Now I will divide this equation by x square both sides. So let me write here x power 4 minus 7x cube plus 12x square minus 7x plus 1 over x square and similarly RHS I will write divided by x square. x is not equal to 0. Now I can write here x square minus 7x plus 12 minus 7 over x plus 1 over x square and RHS will be 0. Now I can collect first and last term in one bracket. So x square plus 1 by x square. Second and second last term after taking minus 7 common. So in bracket it will be x plus 1 over x. And constant would be 12 only. RHS will be 0. Now I will split this 12 as 2 plus 10. And this 2 I will write here in this bracket. So our equation will become x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 minus 7 x plus 1 over x and here 10 will be left equal to 0. Now this bracket is one perfect square. I will write x plus 1 over x whole square minus 7 in bracket x plus 1 over x plus 10 equal to 0. Let me write here x plus 1 over x whole square minus 7 x plus 1 over x plus 10 equal to 0. Let us consider x plus 1 over x equal to a suppose. So our equation will become quadratic in a, a square minus 7a plus 10 equal to 0. So let's use quadratic formula to find out the values of a. a will be equal to minus b. So 7 plus minus under the root 
b square minus 7 square 49 minus 4 a c so minus 40 divided by 2 i can write 7 plus minus this is square root 9 square root 9 is 3 divided by 2 so i will be having 10 over 2 with plus sign and 4 over 2 with minus sign in between so our final values of a will be 5 and 2 now a was our substitution x plus 1 over x so let me write the value of a x plus 1 over x equal to 5 and x plus 1 over x equal to 2 now x is non zero let's multiply both sides by x so i'll be writing x square plus 1 equal to 5x or x square minus 5x plus 1 equal to 0. Now I will apply quadratic formula. Minus b, so 5 plus minus under the root b square 25 minus 4ac, so minus 4 divided by 2a, so 2 only. 5 plus minus square root 21 divided by 2. So we have two real values of x 5 plus root 21 over 2 and 5 minus root 21 over 2. Now the second equation I will consider again I will multiply by x. So x square plus 1 equal to 2x, x square minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0 or I can write this is perfect square x minus 1 equal to 0. So conclusion will be again we are having two solutions 1 and 1. So let us consider x is equal to 5 plus root 21 over 2, 5 minus root 21 over 2 and 1. Now we have to cross examine which value we are going to accept and which will be extraneous solution. Let's check. Let me write here x once 1 with multiplicity 2, 5 plus root 21 over 2 and 5 minus root 21 over 2. Now I will consider our equation. Let me write here x is equal to square root 7x minus 1 over x minus 3 times x minus 4. Now few conditions on x we can apply. Condition number 1. This LHS would be positive always. This radicant must be positive always for real solutions. So LHS will be positive. I will write x should be greater than 0. Second condition which I will write from here. The radicant 7x minus 1 over x minus 3. x minus 4. This should be greater than 0. Now I have to use number line method. Let me write here. 7x minus 1 over x minus 3 times x minus 4 this should be positive so i will draw one number line 3 4 and here i will write our first critical point 1 over 7 so let me write here 7x minus 1 the first bracket x minus 3 and x minus 4 now we will use sign convention so when x will be greater than 1 by 7, 7x minus 1 bracket will be positive. Before that it would be negative. Similarly x minus 3 bracket it will be positive when x is greater than 3. Before that it would be negative. And for x greater than 4, x minus 4 bracket will be positive. But before that it would be negative. Now we have to check that interval where we are getting positive sign. 
so our solution should be in the interval 1 by 7 to 3 and x greater than 4. Here also we are getting this product positive. So we have to cross examine our solution. So I will be writing once again x is equal to 1 and our solution was 5 plus root 21 over 2 5 minus root 21 over 2. Now second value if I will calculate the approximate magnitude then this is it is 1 second value will be 4.75 and third value will be approximately 0 0.25. Now you can check 5 plus root 21 over 2 it is lying in this interval and the remaining 2 it is lying in this interval. So we will accept all three solutions. So let me write here x will be 1, 5 plus minus square root 21 over 2. And this brings the end of the video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself and bye bye.